I'm back to a new day. Don't mind my hair, it's all busted. That's why it's in the do rag. But um, this is actually the very first day I'm filming because, as you saw, we got we put together this vanity. I put together this vanity with an IKEA shelf because I tried to put it on, on that wall right there and it fell because I failed to find a stud. But I did um, decide that I was not going to poke walls, uh, poke holes in the walls because I don't think my landlord would like that too much. So I decided to just go ahead and make it a vanity because I could use a vanity. I wear makeup now because in my job I have to wear makeup. Before I was a fitness instructor and I didn't wear makeup and I did, just went to all natural. But now I've gotten used to working with makeup and everything so I would like to have a place for me to sit and work with the makeup. So I'm Shay. Join me on my DIY journey to a brand new life. Watch as I make some wins and take some fails. And who knows, maybe you'll learn something as I make it happen. So right now, I'm just gonna start, oops, I'm gonna start taping off the outside. I know it's a little pretty ghetto and whatever, but you know, I have, <laughs> uh-oh. I have all of these papers, advertisement that I don't need. Oh, maybe I need this. Subway? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave. Is it expired yet? Oh, no. It's good Subway. Okay, so I need to look at these better. We got some Ruby Tuesday drinks. Maybe not the coupons, maybe not the coupons. But I've got some other things that I can cover this up with. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this aside for a second. And I'm gonna take this can of paint that I found interesting. This girl doesn't know what she's doing. I really don't, guys. I really don't. I'm just trying to play at decorator and doing this stuff on a dime, you know. So I'm using, what is this? It's um, paint primer and paint and primer in one. That's what it is and it's called Semi, semi brillante, semi brillante, semi, semi brilliant. This is a, a burr brand by Bear. Bear is a little here. Aha! Hopefully you saw that. It's a Bear brand, and um, mix the paint in there. See if, see if it's still like a viable paint. It's very viable. It's so strong. The smell gross pretty grody but look at how brilliant white it is it's uh it's like a semi gloss so it should end up being shiny like the shelf you gotta love ikea their products are always so hackable it's fantastic i'm gonna put this over here and oh my gosh is the moment of truth guys i'm so excited i love to do stuff i love to get painting and different day where we're gonna work on the mirror part on white. We painted it white and um, now I want to put some accenture to it. I want to add some rose gold throughout. 
with the thought of the gray, I want to add um, my metallic my metallic aspect of it. I want to want it to be rose gold or copper. So in between rose gold and copper. So I found some rose gold furniture um, furniture paint by Art Minds and uh, let's see what what happens. So first, I'm gonna start by taping up the sides because I want to get as close to the mirror as possible, and I don't want to get any paint on the mirror. Five below because you know I'm cheap. Gotta do this all on a dime. So, so thinking if I'm gonna use a sponge or a wide brush or a round brush, I am not quite sure. So I'm gonna test a few of this brush. Supposed to be this is metallic rose gold soft cloth acrylic paint, and it's supposed to be for, for furniture. So let's see what it does. things I bought at Target. These are, are drawer knobs. And what I'm going to do is, because it's gold and not rose gold, I am going to take them and paint the gold part and make it rose gold because, you know, I'm worth it. dried out really nicely it's very cute I love it I love how it turned out um even the back see so now next we're going to drill the hole into um and it, it just dried really quickly so we're gonna drill holes into the drawers of the vanity to put these in and what makes some sense to happen. So here we're gonna start with um, measuring. We gotta measure the, um, what's that called? It's called a drawer. It's called a drawer. We're gonna measure how long it is. And this we see, it's 22 inches. 22 inches and a little bit more than 22 inches. And a quarter. So half of that, I can't math right now. 22 inches, that's 11. And, a, and two little notches, two little notches. So we're gonna put in, you see? Oh, oh. I'm gonna take. That's the great thing about knobs. They're so easy to install once you figure out yourself. I've got my life. For some reason, the thing doesn't um let me take the the drawers all the way out because that would have been so much easier. 
to do. But, of course, I can't take them out. So, yeah, I don't know if it's been, I gave the, um, put the, um, I don't know if it was when I put the legs in that it stopped the drawers from coming all the way out or just the fact that it's Ikea and it wants to make things difficult. Okay, so then once it's all completely in, then you've got this beautiful, you got this beautiful um thing okay so i figured out what i needed to do to get the um the drawer to fix um all i have to do is take off the face of it so that i can tighten it up really well so i'm gonna try and do that now um to be able to get the the screwdriver in the right way the the drawer has a way to get the face off right here this thing if you you move it this way there's another one just like it on the other side And the face comes right off. So that way, I can just do the tightening without it. All my makeup's coming out, because, you know, I'm impatient. So here we have it on my lap. I know this is probably not the safest place to put it, um, because you could just bore a hole on yourself, but I'm lazy. Kids, do not try this at home. So then now we can just put it back on there. So it's secure in there. Like it still moves, but it's secure. Okay, so after that, we just put it right back where we got it from. And I've got new holes, new knobs on my beautiful drawer now all I have to do is get my stencils ready get it all on the front um, just get them tamped down on the front and then I will paint it with the same metallic that I painted the knobs on here so here we go so we have these quirky little things I like I love love this one here this is so cute um, it comes with a peel like a, a, a plastic backing it's adhesive so I can make it adhere to where I want the stencil to be so I don't have to struggle you know the struggle can be real oh first however I think I want to take this down because I don't want any paint on it I'm just gonna take down these edges Now, we're going to place this lovely, gorgeous thing. So I want it not to be so uniform like I've got this one here. So maybe since it's going up that way, I want it to go down. And I'm 
like that. I think that's what I want. And I'll do the same on this side. I think I'm gonna do it as I paint it. I'm just gonna transfer it over. And I'm gonna, I think I'll use the sponge. I think I'll use the sponge. I guess that looks okay. And hopefully when I move it, it's gonna look better. I like it. It turned out nicely. Now let's try the next one. So you see, it's had a little time to dry in it, you know, because my memory was full and I had to delete everything. But it's had a little time to dry and it looks like this. I'm so excited. Um, now all I have to do is take off this blue tape and put that mirror up. I'm gonna put the mirror up first and then we're gonna remove the tape and have a whole reveal um, for it. Yes, I'm so excited. So I've got the mirror here. I've already put up um, a couple of brackets right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure. I put the brackets up before I even thought about um, about videoing this. So we're gonna measure um, where these things are, and not with a pencil. Here it is, my clutterific vanity. I did it. Maybe eventually I'll get a picture of the 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 lamp that I got that I got for it. I'm gonna get a lamp that's gonna be rose gold and it'll clamp on the top of the of the mirror. But there it is. I did it. Yay! So, we did a lot um, of customizing of things that we already found. So that, that, that's the gist of my channel. I don't want somebody else, I don't want to pay somebody else or pay for something that I can do myself. I'm so glad that I ventured to do this. I'm so glad that I decided to share it with you. Anything else that I might do, I might want to share with you, whether it be a food adventure or just revamping my whole house. I want to be able to share with you. So um, make sure you subscribe below. And what else do what do, what else do YouTubers say? Want to subscribe? You want to hit a like? Um, just let me know what you think. You know, I I'm new to this. I have done YouTube before. I have made films before, but I have never been on camera myself before. It's, it's a little daunting and it's a little scary. Um, but I'm looking forward to hanging out with y'all and doing things myself and maybe with some friends. Until next time.